transcribing for the hosts of God. Doris Ecker, known by her pen name Dharma, received an unprecedented message from Lord Michael, now republished for the first time. In this extraordinary communication, Lord Michael of the Blue Ray, the revered and esteemed archangelic leader, speaks from the celestial plane, guiding humanity through a pivotal transition. This message intertwines divine energies, ancient wisdom, and cosmic guidance, revealing profound truths about our planet's evolution. Prepare to delve into a timeless transmission that promises to illuminate and inspire as we journey into a new era of radiance and unity. Lord Michael On the 23rd of September, 1988, Doris received the following message from Lord Michael, which has never been published. Quoting portions I come in the light of radiance of our most revered source of all that I am presence. Thank you dear one for receiving of me. I am that energy of the blue ray, referred to you ones as Michael, Lord Michael, Lord only defined as law, never some term of worship for my humble self. Always remember, dear ones, worship as used on your dimension is not to be used, respect and all reverence, please. I come from the archangelic plane of density, and at this time function within your terminology, as guide of this most wondrous cycle of your planet's transition. I come in radiance and instead of the Mother, Father God referred to in so many various labels, Tunkashila, the silver ray of Sanat Gamara, the golden ray of Sananda, of the Christness, Isu Jesus Sananda, leader of this entire project, and that most revered one light, Aten, coming forth at this moment of your evolution as Commander J. Argus Series Hatton of Fourth Dimensional Substance, for leadership of this project of evolution. All, of course, is simply one, the totality, the universal source, so let us not get confused as to who sends the summons. All of you precious participants in this magnificent play of transition, and or evolution of human and planet Earth, come lastly from the realms of etherical angelic frequencies having manifested for the purpose of planning, from mostly Pleiades. Some of the cosmic scribes from areas of the other galaxies, as the Thal or more relative to higher energy forms, Pleiades being of the sixth for definition. Later, in the same writing, quoting. Now for a final confirmation for your comfort, the crystal of Lemuria and Atlantis, which is the energy focus of your planet, and the vortex of communications, and or a navigation of this time of transition on into a radiance is located in Tehachapi, California, and these ones have been located, basically, at Opit. It is approximately two plus miles in diameter in its perfect perfection of the crystalline flower of indigo blue, shot throughout with sunbursts of gold. Go within and recognize of the truth of it. Also, the ancient of the ancient brothers will be brought here, our red eagle little crow who returns as a manifestation of what you will call a Lakota, to bring forth to pen and voice the oral teachings of your source, Tunkashila, Grandfather, Wakan Tanka, and in this area resides the most sacred of artifacts, which will be brought forth in proper sequence. For in this place is the sacred altar, a Waika Wakan, to be in place of unity and strength for you precious ones, who will see this journey into fruition. Blessings be upon you committed children of our Father for yours shall be the reward beyond price. But for now, the time is at hand. A U die pi de come for it is done, so be it. End quoting. Source, Contact, The Phoenix Project, the 21st of February, 1995, Volume 8, Number 4, Page 46. Editor's Note, To all my listeners and viewers. Please check out the description section of this video for the above source.
reference links and further comments. From there you will also have access to the banned Phoenix journals by the US government along with the starting set of Phoenix journals, as recommended by Commander Hatton to read first. The journals help unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings and misconceptions foisted upon the masses by those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions and actions of others from generation to generation, especially those of the true Christed life teachings of Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. For uninformed readers, the new name and title of Sananda is an earned level of utmost respect and achievement for the accomplished and highly revered master teacher, meaning one with God. As a matter of fact, even your mistranslated and tampered with Bibles mentions that he would have a new name upon his return. The Phoenix Journals are the word of truth given forth to mankind from the higher realms of light, during this most critical transition time upon Earth's evolution to a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support my YouTube channel. And as always have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.